What is up, awesome people? Shady Wax here, and today we're going to be playing Flotsam. This is a game that's out in early access on Steam. It is a crafting, building, and scavenging game with some resource management thrown in, and for good measure, we got Apocalyptic Survival. Now, I know there's a lot of games out there right now that fit all those criteria, but what Flotsam does a little bit differently than those is it approaches it in a different manner. A lot of those other games come at you with the, like kind of the doom and gloom aspects of survival, and Flotsam doesn't do that. It's more of a light-hearted approach. So let's get into it here. We're going to go ahead and uh, select new game. Let it load up here. And uh, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to select the uh, name of our new town. Let's just go through a couple of these random names here and uh, choose one. Blueville, um, Wet Bay. Wet Bay sounds pretty good, so let's start our adventure. And the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go up to the left-hand corner, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pause the game so it doesn't keep moving on here. But you do have uh, four different options up here. You can pause. If you want to start the game again, you just click that again. It'll start right back up. We'll go ahead and pause it again. You have fast forward, and you have super fast speed. Okay, as far as the controls, you can control this entire game with the mouse or the keyboard. I'm going to be using the mouse to move north, south, east, and west. I'm just going to hold in the right mouse button and just drag, and that allows me to navigate the map. To scroll in, I'm just going to use the middle mouse button. I can scroll in. That's as far as we can scroll in, and we can scroll out. So let's scroll back in a little bit here. And to rotate the camera, just hold in the middle mouse button and again drag. So pretty simple controls there. If you are you know played any type of strategy game, those should be familiar to you. As you can see here, Flotsam takes place on sea. In their version of the apocalypse, evidently the ice caps have melted and the world has been flooded. And it's our job here to rebuild this town that's floating at sea right here if we click on this this is the town heart i'll click on there and our town heart does have some storage we can store 60 units of water in here and 100 items right now we have 40 cans of food and let's uh go ahead and scroll in and rotate over so you can get a better view here we start out with three villagers. Uh, these are called drifters. And if we click on any one of those, we can get some more information about them. We get their name here. If you want to change their name, you can click on that. And we'll just go ahead and type in a name here and hit accept. Now, the weird thing is it doesn't actually change it here. It just kind of sets it as like a, uh, a middle name. But if we hover over our guy, it does rename him. There are four different things on the character screen that we're interested in. That's the character's health, their hunger, their thirst, and their rest or endurance. There are a couple more things here. If they have um, any special attributes, they'll show here. This guy gets tired faster, and he's got a temporary rejuvenating feeling. This right here is their diet, the things that they'll eat what they're currently doing, and what's in their inventory. And at any time, we can click on any of these characters and get a little heads up on what's going on with each one of them. So um, to rebuild this town, we need to start collecting all of this material out here. We have uh, plastic, plastic waste, and wet wood. So to do that, we need to send our people out there using buoys. And down here in the... On the bottom menu, here's the uh, markers. We have four different markers down here. Right now, we can only use a salvage buoy for swimming drifters. So I will go ahead and click on that buoy, and I can move that around to see where I want to place it. It's going to give me the amount of wet wood and plastic waste that's in the area. So we'll try to get like a... Yeah, let's go 11. Where was that? 11.49. Okay, so once I click on that, it's going to drop the buoy. And we have some different things we can do with the buoy here. Uh, the first thing we can do is we can enlarge the area. Make that as large as we want. So anything that can be salvaged within this radius, they will swim out here and get. We can shrink it as well. We'll leave it 
right there. Uh, another thing we can do right now, if I go ahead and hit play, so let's unpause it. You'll see that guy already jumped out. One of them jumped out, and he's going to go out here. He's just going to start gathering materials. Um, once he's loaded up, let's click on him. Yo. We'll see he's gathering stuff up into his inventory. Once he's reached his capacity, he'll take it back and he'll drop it into the town heart. Now, what we can do is we can actually click back on the buoy again, and we can increase the number of drifters that we want to come out here. So we'll hit two. And we get another guy coming out here. So now we have two coming out to collect waste. So we're, they're out here collecting this waste. Uh, this is great. Eventually, we want to get to the point they don't have to swim out here, that they, ha they can use boats. But for right now, this is all we have. Because... The more physical activity they do, well, they're going to start getting hungry, thirsty, and their endurance is going to be going down. So we've got three people collecting. It looks like, a, you know, there's a lot more plastic waste here than there is wet wood. So we'll go over here and we're going to place another buoy. You're not limited to the amount you can place. So we're going to place another one right here. We'll enlarge that and we'll go ahead and we're going to hit play again. And our third guy will come out here and he'll start collecting this wet wood. So now we just got to kind of wait a little bit uh, to get some materials because we want to start building. And, and down here in the middle we have the build menu. I'll click on that. And it's going to give us the items we can build right here. And the first one is for the town. What we want to do is start creating some walkways. Well, I'll show you first. You can look, We'll go ahead and try to create a small storage yard. And you can see you can place it anywhere around the town heart, but that's going to end up limiting you in space. So we want to create some walkways first. We'll click on walkway, and we'll just place one right here. I'll click on it once, and then I can drag it out. And I'm going to drag this actually uh, pretty far. We'll drag it out to here. That sets down the foundation for our walkway. Uh, when one of our drifters gets back here, we got well, both of them are making a race for the town heart here. They'll throw their supplies that got into the town heart, and then they'll start taking supplies out, throwing it into the foundation, and then working on it. We'll watch them here. You'll see that happen here. Here they go. They got the materials. You don't even have to tell them to do it. They do it automatically. They're going to start throwing the materials in. For walkways, well, for each item that you build, it is going to take different types of materials. If we hover over here for the walkway, we see to make one walkway, it takes eight pieces of plastic waste. And we're going to go ahead and we'll, we'll start on another one over on the opposite side. There's no right or wrong way to do this, to build this town out. I've just found some tricks that make it a little more efficient. I want to build that out to about there, so let's wait till we get uh, 16 waste, or 16 plastic waste. Just wait on that. We need one more. But yeah, each building has different requirements. You can hover over them and you can see what you need. Like I said before, no right or wrong way to do it. But I have found some things, little tricks that do help out. You would think initially you would want to build uh, a small house, but I found it actually is more uh, to your advantage to build storage yards because this thing is going to fill up, you see, pretty quickly. And once it fills up, then they can't place, they can't collect any more items. So what we will do, we'll go ahead and we'll put a storage yard down right here. So we have that available right now and we're going to go ahead and build the second walkway and I'll drag that out right there uh, you notice they do have icons over their head this guy we can tell right now he is already getting hungry what he will do is he'll come back if there's food available he'll go he'll go ahead and he'll gather that food and eat it or if there's water available, they will go ahead and get that. And to see what you have real, really quickly, it's at the top here. We have 39 food reserves, 27 water reserves, and here's the materials we have right now. We have wet wood, zero dry wood, 11 plastic waste, and zero scrap metal. 
Okay, they are working on our walkways here. We got the two guys working on that. We got a guy working on our storage yard over here. Okay, I'm actually going to go ahead and build one more storage yard. And we'll just set that right there. Oh, you hear that? You hear that noise? That is right here, this huge whale-like creature. Not sure what that is, but I, I don't think our drifters want to get near that. Okay, they are working hard. They almost have the second walkway completed, and we're going to build actually one more walkway. So we have uh, seven plastic waste right now. I think we're going to build this um, a little bit maybe longer than these. We're going to build it off the back here. So it will go right here. Don't have enough right now, but... Oh, also you can see you don't have to build straight. You can build at an angle. But we are actually just going to build it straight. So we need 24 plastic waste to get that built. So we'll wait on that. And we can see up here we have 12. And once we get the walkway built, then we'll start on the um, small houses. So, come on out. So. Okay, he's coming back. He's got a load here. How much does he have? He's got two plastic waste. Throwing them in. We're up to 19 right now. Yeah, sure. 22. We just need two more. You see they are already piling up stuff in the small storage yards. Okay, there we go. We got enough. We'll start on the uh, third walkway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We kind of lost control there. Uh, let's put that back there. And we're going to go out as far as we can go. Let's go right there. Oh, I need to move my control view back. Uh, click on here again, and we're going to move out. And we'll place that there. Okay, the next thing we're going to start working on is homes. We need we need small houses because we can see already they're getting tired. But in order to do that, we need dry wood. And right now, all we have is wet wood. We don't have any dry wood. To dry the wood, we have to make drying racks. And we got enough to do that. And I'm going to put the drying racks right here. We're going to build multiple drying racks. So once they finish the walkway, they'll start on the drying rack. Okay, our walkway is just about finished. Um, they're working, I guess, as quickly as they can. They're not they are not the fastest workers, but they are dedicated and diligent. And we got our guy over here. Who is this? This is... Who's working on this? I don't know. Okay, so our guy right here, he's working on the drying rack. We're getting that completed. Um, we need another one, but to do that, we need more plastic waste. And this guy out here, he's going to get that. So we're set on that. We'll be getting some more plastic waste here. I've actually got two of them going out there now. And we'll stay right here with this guy so you can see what happens when the drying rack's complete. Okay, so it, it is complete. We're going to click on that, and we get two options for the drying rack. We can dry wood, or we can dry fish, and we'll click on wood. And when this guy comes back and he unloads his supplies, he should gather up some wet wood here. And he'll go over here to the drying rack, and he'll throw that wood onto the drying rack. And then what we got here, we have it'll one drying rack can dry three pieces of wood. You have a meter here 
that will start to click down and that's the time it takes to dry the wood. We have enough material to build another drying rack. We're going to go ahead and put that one right here. So you can see now that the meter has started. That's the uh, time that it takes for that wood to dry. Once it's dry, then they'll take it off the drying rack and throw it into the storage yard. And we need... How many do we need for a house? For one house, we need... Eight plastic waste and six dry wood. And we need to hurry up and get those houses built because they are getting tired. Here they come back. They're going to start on the second drying rack. Uh, this one, the wood is just about dry. There we go. You see that they'll change graphics when they are dry. And I, I could go ahead and um, focus on the houses, but I, I think I'm going to go ahead and put two more drying racks up. And we're going to save space, put these up as close as we can to the other ones. They're just going to have to be tired a little bit longer. I don't know if they'll actually like drop from exhaustions or, or what, so we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, the second drying rack, I'm going to select wood again. You see he's collecting the dry wood. He'll throw that into the inventory and he should fill both of these up for us. And one of the cool aspects about Flotsam, you don't have to tell them what to do. They just kind of know what's priority and what we need to do and they, they just focus on that and they get it done. So. That's kind of cool that you don't have to click on one guy and say, hey, go do this or go do that. You can tell each one of them what to do. If you want, you can click down on here and get an overview. And you have these different, uh, I, I guess this would be um, duties here. Yeah, drifter duties. So, you know, Sammy Flot, if you didn't want him building, you could, you could set, well, you could set the priority by clicking on it. Or you could decrease it and turn it completely off. So you can go through and if you really wanted to micromanage what you wanted each of these people to do, you could. Ah, okay, so our third drying rack is finished. Let's select wood. And we're going to build one more drying rack. Now, like I said before, at any time, you know, you don't really want to sit and just watch all this take place. You can uh, hit the super fast forward. And whenever you're ready to jump back into the game in real time, you're just going to hit normal speed. So our last drawing rack is completed. We'll change that to wood. And then we're going to shift our attention to the homes now. To build houses, we're going to need eight plastic and we're going to need six dry wood. Now, unfortunately, uh, through the course of building all this, where we set that last buoy, well, that area has been exhausted. We need to set another buoy. And we got plastic out here, but we can't set a buoy out here. It's outside of the radius of our town heart in order to collect this we would actually need a salvage boat so we're gonna have to find another area that's inside the radius uh, there's some hopefully this is let's try that no it's not we can get this little bit over here is there anything well we're gonna be we're gonna have to just collect these little bits out here these little stragglers so let's set that there, and we're going to set another buoy. Let's see if we can find... Um, eh, we'll set it out here. And I'm going to enlarge that one so we get all that plastic. There we go. Well, now we have enough for one house. We do need to build the house because they are getting tired. 
Uh, their endurance is... Let's see. Whoa, at an all-time low. And as their endurance runs down, they're going to work slower and slower. So we will put a home right here. Unfortunately, a small house can only accommodate one person, so we're going to have to build three of these homes. Hopefully, we have enough plastic. We did uh, <laughs> build uh, quite a bit of walkways that used up a lot of that material. I hope I didn't mess up there. We're going to find out because there's quite a few more things that we need to take care of. Yes, sir. And we might not have enough plastic. Okay, we have enough for another house. We'll put that one right there. We have two small houses built. <laughs> if you really consider these homes, I mean, just basically a bed floating on the water. We got one guy in here resting right now. Uh, probably not too comfortable, but you do what you gotta do. Uh, we need one more bed. For that we need... Uh, we're about got it. Seven, eight more. We'll place that right here. I am very concerned right now that I did uh, build a little bit too much using the plastic. We'll wait and see. We do have some pieces out here that they can gather because we need now to build uh, a work shed. And for that, we need six. The work shed's going to be very important because we're going to need that in order to start getting some water, which kind of starting to run a little bit low here and we need the work shed in order to build our boats so we're just kind of really hoping we got six more plastic here and it looks like there is it looks like there's enough out here there's not much left Our drifters were able to gather enough plastic waste for us to put our work shed down, and we'll place that right beside our uh, drying racks here. So in this circumstance, we, we are out of material plastic, you know, and it's random on a map how much material you're going to have in an area. For this uh, playthrough, I didn't have a lot of plastic in this area. And I'm going to need more. So what I can do is I can click on a walkway here. And if I hover over deconstruct, it'll tell me, you know, how much I'm going to get out of this if I tear it down. So I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct this walkway. And I'll get eight plastic back out of that. Because we're, we're definitely going to need some more plastic. We want to build a boat. But first we need to build a mooring point, And we need a rope for that. We'll go over to the woodworking shed and we're going to queue up one rope. Right here is the queue recipe. So you can either select firewood or a rope. And we're going to queue one rope. And one of our guys should jump in here and he should start working on that rope. Now also, what do we need for, uh, for the mooring point? We should have everything else. We just need the rope. Now for the boats, that's a different story. We're going to need more plastic. So we may have to tear down another one of these walkways. Okay, he's working on the rope right now. And we do have one rope, and he'll take that, and he'll throw it back into the, uh, the, the storage. So we need a mooring point. Um, right now, let's put it... Where, where? Let's put it right here. I really wanted it over here, but I think once they take... Uh, let's put it right there for now. That way, you know, they can go load the boat up and they're going to be right there at the storage point. So we have our mooring point built. Uh, we need to build a salvage boat, but we need more plastic. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to tear another one of these down. Not sure which one. I think uh, we'll tear down this walkway right here. I mean, it's unfortunate that we have to do this because we're just going to kind of be doing some double work here. Because once they get the plastic, I'm going to build them back up. But for right now, we just 
We kind of need that so we can get out here and get this other stuff. And hopefully that is enough. It should be. We only need two more for the for the salvage boat. And there we go. And we'll build the boat right there. Okay, our salvage boat is being worked on here. It's almost complete. Once that's completed, that's going to give us a lot more options. We're not going to be limited to, you know, what's able to um, salvage in our radius, which, you know, we pretty much have picked this clean, but it will now give us the option to come out here and get all this material out here. So that's going to be really useful. Just about completed. There we go. So if we click on the boat, you know, it doesn't really give us much, much options here. That's not how we use this. We, we actually, when it completed, it gave us access to another buoy. So we're going to go ahead and click on that, another salvage buoy. And we'll go out here and place it right out here. Same as the other, we're going to go ahead and enlarge the marker. Now, as soon as I plop that thing down, somebody jumped in the boat and they're going to take out off out there and start salvaging. We'll follow him here. So you can get a view of that. Now, the next thing that we really, really have to work on, it's getting critical right now, is our water. And we're just, we need more plastic because we need to build this uh, distiller here, but we need a couple more plastic for that. So he's loading up the boat. You can see this is much quicker than swimming. We'll probably end up building a couple of these, honestly. But he's going to make his way back. And there's not much more right now our other people can do. They're just kind of chilling out right now. That's not going to be the case here much longer. Once we get this plastic. Okay, what I do need to do... Um, I am I could put the distiller anywhere I want, but I kind of want to build this efficiently. So I want to rebuild this walkway out here. So, I'm going to move this out to here and set that down. Because we have pl we'll have access to plenty of plastic now. We can kind of do what we want. And this will kind of come clear here once we have this built. I'll, I'll explain why I want this walkway here. Okay, he's already back. I mean, that's how fast that is. The swimmers that would have took quite a while and he's got that thing just loaded up we did get the warning here that our water reserves are low you see up here it's showing that yeah we're in trouble guys just gotta hang in there we're gonna get it okay so we could go ahead and build the distiller right now but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna push this as far as I can go and the reason is I'm going to put a storage yard right here. And the reason I'm doing that is because to fuel the distiller, we need firewood. And you create firewood from the woodworking shed out of dry wood. But what would happen is they would go grab this dry wood, move it over to the woodshed, chop it up. Once it was chopped into firewood, then they would move it all the way back here to either these storage yards here or the town heart and then they would grab it again and move it all the way back to the distiller so by putting a, a storage yard right here that's going to save a trip for us they're going to chop the wood move it into here and then move the wood from the storage yard to the distiller Okay, we need uh, six more plastic. Uh, we should be getting that here. He's unloading right now. And we'll go ahead and we're, we're going to start. Well, there, we got it. We'll put that down right here. 
And we need to get somebody started on chopping wood too. Our water is getting really low. So I can do this one or two ways on the firewood. I can queue them up individually by hitting this button each time. You can dequeue them by clicking on them again. Or you can click on this here to auto queue. And it'll queue up as much firewood as needed. You can turn that off again by clicking. I'm going to queue up here, fill this up. And they'll start working on the firewood. We have one guy that will start chopping the firewood. This guy's going to finish on the distiller. And we have our third guy still collecting plastic, I hope. Oh, man, he's almost got that completely empty. So let's uh, let's move that buoy another one. Let's put another buoy out over here. So he'll just keep working. As we're waiting for the distiller to be built here, one thing you may have noticed is these little icons right here. And the one thing that the game does, it does give you visual cues when there are issues. In this case, uh, we have halted production. There's no barrels to dry because if we look up here, we're out of wet wood. So we can't dry anything, so we need wet wood. Looks like the distiller is almost complete. But uh, as far as the wet wood, that's not really an issue right now. We don't need it. We have, you know, we have... 54 dry wood. Looks like our other guy is helping out with the the uh, wood here, so we need to probably set another boat queue. Let's go ahead and uh, where is there more plastic at? Do we have any more? We ah, there's a lot out here. So let's place that down right there, enlarge it and go back over to our town okay so the distiller is built we'll click on that and we're gonna say auto queue water because we're out we need water asap and we're gonna go and head in auto queue wood and that's gonna go ahead and uh queue up as much firewood as we can and they'll start getting to work here. These guys, we're going to work these guys to death to get this cop back up. And the first little trick that I did want to show you guys is working. He's gathering the wood. He's piling it in here. He's going to chop it up. Watch him chop it right here. Look at that guy go. What a beast. What a beast. So once he's finished chopping that up, he's going to move it into here, into the small storage yard. You see, there's already some firewood in there. And then he's either going to grab it, or he's going to either grab it, and they'll move it right into the distiller. So no need to go all the way back over here to these storage yards of the town heart. So that saves a lot of time. Okay, we, we're going to get some water here. It is going to take some time. I mean, we completely... To plenish this tank here as we fill it back in, up you know you will see visually this tank will start to fill up again so we got five so we're just gonna keep them going on this until we get back up to about 20 water uh, another thing we're gonna work on too because it's starting to become a concern is the food and uh, what we're gonna need is another boat so we're gonna need another parking area I think I'll put that, uh, we'll just put it right there. Seems like a great place to put a fishing boat right beside the houses. But yeah, these two guys right here, they're going to be working non-stop now until we get this caught up. And that's going to take some time because we did kind of overbuild for the beginning, but I'm just kind of planning for the future. We're not there yet, but we're eventually going to leave this area. Still have a couple things to show you guys. But yeah, I just... I, you could just start off small and you wouldn't have ran into the problems that I did. Okay, where we stand right now, we have uh, one of our guys out here collecting fish, bringing those back and storing them. Our other guy is out here collecting plastic. And our third drifter is still working on uh, refilling our water supply. You see, that's not as bad as what it was, but 
We still have a, a ways to go to catch that up. I would say to about 20 to be safe. So next, what we need to really work on is um, cooking. Well, in this case, we can't cook the fish yet. We need to dry it. And in order to dry it, we could use these drying racks here. We could click on that and we could switch over to fish. But um, to catch up on water, we're definitely going to need more dry wood and more firewood. I think this third guy, he's going to be pretty much dedicated to just taking care of this uh, distiller and the firewood. That's going to be his only job. So I, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and build a couple more um, drying racks just for fish. We'll put one here and um, well, we need four more. Four more plastic so we'll wait for our guy to get back here the reason the distiller is not going right now because we are out of fuel and is there well let's queue more up we can queue some more water up here yeah it's out of fuel uh, let's queue up more firewood We want to keep that going. Okay, that's one drying rack done. We'll click on that and we'll select fish. And there we go. We'll throw the fish on there. The fish works the same way as the wet wood. When the uh, meter finishes, the fish will be dry and they'll grab those off of there and then they can use those as food. Let's build another drying rack once we get the plastic in here. There we go. Uh, where are we going to put that? We can't put it right there, huh? I wanted to put it right here. It's not going to let me, so we'll put it beside, right there. Well, at this point, we provided our drifters everything they need to survive. They have a source of food. They can catch a dry fish. They have their little floating beds here that they can rest, and they have the uh, the distillers down here so they can make water and replenish their thirst. But I'm sure they want more than this. I mean, it can't be real comfortable to sleep in a bed that's just floating on a board on the water. You probably get wet, and when seagulls fly over, probably not the greatest thing to wake up to when they decide to crap on you. So what we need to do is we need to research uh, better technologies, and we can do that right here through research. And we need research points to unlock these new technologies. Like right here, we could provide them with better homes. We can, you know, give them different ways to create water and to cook the fish. But to do that, we do need research points. And the way to get those is over here, as you go into different maps. I didn't really talk about that yet, but we we can't. We're eventually going to move away from here. But over here on this side, there are objectives. And we, if we click on this, it's going to give us uh, an objective we can complete. So for this one, we can uh, gather a mass, some ropes, and some metal scrap. So I will go ahead and hit salvage. And that will be queued up to do this objective here. Sometimes there will be research points in here too also that you can gather by completing these objectives. So once I click on that, after this guy with the salvage boat, once he empties that, he'll head off over to this island here and he will try to complete this objective. And we'll wait for him to finish unloading this boat. Like you said, over here, we kind of, I, we definitely need some more wood too. We're out of... Oh, we, we can queue more up. Let's queue more firewood up. We've got to keep that water going. It's dropping already. And that's going to be a challenge for a while. We'll eventually get it there. We'll get into the out of the red and into the surplus. So here he goes. He's going to take off. And he's going to head for the island.
Okay, so he's made it to the island. He's going to make his way up to the sailboat, and he'll begin salvaging, and he'll collect the mass, the rope, and the metal. And it, it could take multiple trips. I'm not sure how long this will take him. Come on, let me get him. Ah, well, what I could do is I can click on him this way. I don't know who he is, though. Okay, there he is. It is Shady Wags. It looks like he did have the mast. He's got the mast and the four ropes, and he's going to go back and gather more now. Okay, he's completed the objective, he salvaged everything, so he'll head back and put that all into storage. And we'll check our town here, see what's going on. Uh, looks like we're still making some firewood. We got, let's queue up more water. Queue up more firewood. And, uh,. Once he gets back here, is he on his way? Yeah, okay, so he's just about back. Let's let him unload what he's got. And we're going to need more wood. I can tell that we're out of wet wood. We need to start drying some more wood. We'll go ahead and place another salvage point out here. And... We want him to collect all that. I think uh, this one right here, the plastic, I'm going to go ahead and remove that marker. Right now, wood's probably the most important thing. Once he's unloaded the mass, that's going to open up another option here to build the sails. And it uh, looks like he's going to unload two more metal. There we go. So now we can build sails. That's going to allow us to travel. The sails are pretty large. I think where we're going to put it is on the end right here, kind of out of the way. Okay, our sails are built now, and once we have those up, we can click on that, and it'll give us the option to open the map. And what we could do is we could move on now. We have these different areas that we can move to. You have to move in, uh, I guess you'd say, in progression of these lines right here. So our next one is going to be to this lonely island, and the features of the lonely island are villagers in an abandoned town. So if we wanted to, we could go ahead and click move here now. If we didn't want to do that, we, we don't have to go now. We could continue, you know, sending our guy out, continue salvaging all these different areas like he is now. But just for the sake of the, you know, the video right here, I'm going to go ahead and move on. So we'll click on the island here. We'll click on move here and our little floating village. We'll move to the next area. And once we've moved to the ex next area, we have a new supply of, you know, plastic and fish and wet wood. Another thing we have, we have new objectives. If we click on this one right here, it is a rescue mission. We can add these two people to our town here. So let's go ahead and click on rescue. And one of our villagers will jump in his salvage boat and he's going to head out here and he's going to rescue these people and then he'll bring them back to the village and you know then we'll have two more workers but two more workers means two more mouths to feed and uh, more water and also means that we're gonna have to build more beds because these beds they're assigned to a person which is kinda crazy but yeah you, you have to build a bed for each person so we might as well start on that we're gonna have two more people put one here uh, we'll have to wait to get some more dry wood, though. So, uh, we might as well go ahead and we'll click on this scavenge as well. So once he's rescued those people, he'll start scavenging this next little island. Okay, we have two new villagers right here. Sushi and Kalidas. And they'll go right to work. And we might as well go ahead and have one of them start fishing we get some fish over here and we'll go ahead and click on that
Uh, we can at this point too. Do we have any? Uh, we need some more plastic. Do we have any plastic that's close by? Uh, wow, doesn't look like it. Another thing that would probably speed this up a little faster is to build uh, another boat. And we're going to need a little extra area here. Put that there for a dock. Uh, we'll put the other boat here on the end. So our guy did complete the scavenge mission here. He's bringing back 10 dry wood. He also got three research points. So we can click on research here. Not quite enough to unlock anything yet. Um, what we'll have to do is click on the map here we'll have to continue exploring these different areas to find different opportunities to unlock more research points one thing about the research points i'm going to say is be careful about what you buy because you might buy something like for example you want the desalinator which is a really good investment that i would recommend trying to get this as soon as possible because it really does um increase your water production but if you get that to build it, you need 20 screws and six pipes. And we don't have any, you know, way to create those right now. So in order to create the desalinator, you first need the scrap smith. So if I was going to recommend to get anything first, it would be the scrap smith. And then work on getting the desalinator. So we just completed the second salvage boat. That's really going to speed things up. So now we can go out here, we can click on this, and we can... Do we have any plastic out here? Please say we have some plastic. Ah, we may not. That may be it. Oh, out here. Way out here. So we'll place a buoy here. So yeah, having um, two boats is really going to speed things up. Uh... I think what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to clean this area out and we'll keep working on the water here. It's getting low again because we don't have any firewood. We have to get this wet wood back in, get it dried out, and then we can start working on that again. So, so far, really fun game. I really enjoy playing this. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. Let me know what you think about Flotsam in the comments. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.